What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to reset your Steam Deck. So you're going to be able to uh, restart it from scratch as if uh, you had just purchased it and you have to log in and do all that stuff. Um, this is very useful if you've installed some things that have kind of slowed it down or messed it up, um, especially in the Linux mode where you have a lot more control over that stuff. So uh, yeah, we'll jump into this video and then I'll have another video uh, on if the software method doesn't work, you can use a USB method. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed and that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So. I'm going to go ahead and connect this to the screen so you can actually see it uh, running. So let me plug this in here. And this is a adapter from Utech Smart. All right. So now we are uh, able to see the screen. Very nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to our settings. And here are our system settings. So go ahead and go to system. And you're going to scroll all the way down until you see factory reset state. Let me move the camera here. That'll work. And you'll see factory reset state right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is going to say this operation will permanently delete data on your device. Please select which system partitions you'd like to reset. And uh, you can choose to clear user data and reinstall SteamOS. So let's go ahead and choose both of those and choose confirm. And now it is preparing. And we might lose connection here because it is going to start, you know, deleting everything, but it's going to download uh, the update first. All right. So it says restart required. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and press restart now. And I will show you the screen. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and press the power button. Now you'll note that the screen is still on. So you can still see it running. It's just still doing its thing in the background. Oh, it just got brighter. There it is. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it shows up. And it does not. So we're going to go ahead and go through the setup menu here. Now at this point, your Steam Deck is already essentially restarted fresh. Uh, aside from the SD card, uh, which will likely still have some stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and go through the setup here. Uh, welcome. Choose your time zone. All the normal stuff. Choose your network. Let me enter my super secret password. And now we can see that Steam OS is installing. So uh, that'll take some time. I'll let that run for a while and then I'll show you what happens when we get back. And you can see there it gives you a nice estimate. It says it's going to be about three minutes for it to download and update and get everything done. All right. So it looks like it finished and it's now uh, restarting. So we're going to give that some time. And now you can see the sign in page. Obviously, I put my camera over the QR code, but that's it. That's all there is to it. All you have to do is go into your Steam menu and head into the factory reset. We're going to go ahead and sign in and I'm going to see if it did anything to our SD card as well. So I just signed in and uh, my SD card had quite a bit of user data on it. I had a bunch of games. Uh, it looks like they might actually still be there, but we're going to find out very soon because that's going to answer a big question that a lot of people have is does reformatting your S uh, Steam Deck delete your SD card? So let's take a look at our uh, storage. And if I look at my SD card, all of my games that were there are still there. So how do we delete the SD card? We can just click on the micro SD card here, press the top gamepad face button, and we're going to go to format drive and we'll go ahead and click on confirm. You can add a label to it if you'd like. And then it'll warn you that it'll delete everything on the uh, SD card. Let's go ahead and click confirm. And this will take some time depending on the size of the SD card. And there it is. Now we have our internal drive completely blank and our SD card completely blank on a brand new Steam Deck. Well, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace. About a new device, unboxing kudos. We rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?